So for this afternoon's toy find, we have two clearance items. So we have Marvel Legends Vulcan and Marvel Legends Saber Tooth. So I got two of this figure and just one for this figure to upgrade my other Saber Tooth action figure. But this is the subject for today's video because we're going to make a custom action figure out of this Vulcan base figure. So for $7.49, not so bad at all. There were um, new action figures um, at my local Target and Walmart, but I was not interested in them. So when this was, uh, I checked the prices on these action figures and was really at their lowest. That's the time that I really purchased them. So for a customizer, we have a lot of parts that we could use. Alternate head, alternate set of hands. We have an alternate body, especially a green shirted body like this that we could possibly make into a G.I. Joe classified series action figure. But for the purpose of this video, we are going to make a Deadpool figure out of Vulcan. So we're going to get rid of the head. We're going to get rid of the gold belt and we're going to get rid of the gold boots okay so after the hot bath or the boiling bath boil and pop method we have my own personal deadpool action figure so let's discuss parts swaps on this action figure the head is a loose piece that I already have on board. The handsets are already a loose piece that I have on board. So with the sword and the gun. Okay, so from these three action figures, the parts that I have used. So the red belt comes from the US agent figure. So I just uh, switched belts between these two guys. So I gave the US agent the gold belt and the Deadpool figure the red belt so for the boots this came from the blue Marvel figure anyway I won't be using these boots with this figure I like this look better white boots for blue Marvel as for the strap system for the sword that is the strap system for the sword it came from the bone crusher build a figure piece so just a bonus content for this video this is how the us agent now looks with a new shield so i changed the shield that was uh, issued to this guy and this now sports a gold belt so a break in the monotonous color of red and dark blue so the gold actually adds accent still to the figure and of course let's give the US agent a gun a 45 ACP called 1911 from the Marvel Legends Vulcan body this is my personal Deadpool figure um, just the way I want it okay so let's do a visual 360 of my custom build or kit bash or modification or whatever you want to call it so instead of the Ryan Reynolds uh, Deadpool uh, thing wherein we have a lot of straps packets we have two swords two guns grenades and all of the things that you could possibly attach to a Deadpool figure that is all weight so basically what I want in my personal Deadpool figure is just two weapons so a sword just a single sword and a gun so let's stick to the um, Desert Eagle 50 caliber pistol so why do you need all of those straps and all of those um, things that go around the arms and goes around the legs and somehow still impedes circulation so just doesn't make sense you already have a man inside a tight fitting body suit so a strap system with belt pockets that really don't store anything is not needed basically this guy already is loaded do you think that um, with just a single uh, pistol and a single sword he is outgunned 
um, actually he still has three weapon systems of course you have the pistol so that is not a 9 millimeter or a 45 ACP or a 22 LR that's a 50 caliber okay so that's the thing that Deadpool would carry and why the gold piece of course this Merc with a mouth is a very flashy guy so give him a very flashy gun okay so pistol and we have the sword so for the sword not your full length katana but within the length of a waki sashi or something of a mid length sword so for close quarter battle or for close fighting hand to hand or in close confines like buildings offices restaurants etc you don't need a full length katana to fight your way through um, bad guys or their henchmen okay so we have a cutting edge of the for the sword a stabbing edge and if you don't wish to stab or cut you still have the blunt end which you could use as a bludgeoning device or tool so is he outgunned or or um, little uh, has little weapons on board actually not he has just enough so up front we have a very clean looking action figure and just the right choice of colors the blue and the red so the weapons are from the back side are also not visible it's only when you turn the figure that you're going to see how he stores his weapon from the back so low slang for the sword and we have a back holster for the pistol and what i like about this we don't have a lot of those unnecessary pouches that would just move around the appendages of the figure we have the vulcan body is a nice articulating figure especially the um, shoulder articulation area that butterfly um, joints for the arms are really nicely articulated so which makes posing for this action figure this custom action figure really great especially for toy photography so without any further ado let's go to the photos and the video shots and if you like this video please do support my channel by like commenting and subscribing and once again this is laruani obi-wan see you on the next custom action figure review